as an artist, you do this stuff long enough and try to grow to get better. And you, if you keep painting long enough, you, you will find that uh, getting better isn't always going like that. It may go up and then it kind of plateaus off and then it goes up and it plateaus off. And I hit one of those plateaus a couple of months ago and, and usually to get out of the plateau, I have to make a change. So that's what prompted me to do acrylics. Acrylics has been something that maybe once every two years I get out just for fun. Both pieces were painted on the floor. And I, I dripped the paint, particularly the white. I thought it was the first one that I painting I'd really done with this particular uh, technique. And I felt, felt pretty good about it as my uh, first attempt. The pandemic has affected me more than I thought it might. And so I've been in a creative funk since the spring. And I've known about this show. I knew about the deadline. Uh, work on my sketchbook. I would, I would think about ideas, write things down. And then nothing happened. And it was hard for me to get into the studio. This body of work came together late out of the anxiety of knowing I had a deadline. <laughs> I channeled the words of one of my mentors, uh, Rebecca Ramos. She's an artist in, in Santa Cruz County. She, she taught at MPC, and that's how I met her. And she, she came up to me one day, and she could tell I was struggling in class, and she said, oh good, do what you know. This was the one that surprised me the most. As I mentioned earlier, I was in a music line when I'm creating, and I was feeling a little bit anxious because nothing came to mind. So I put on Cher's Greatest Hits, and it starts out with the song Believe. And as I was working through the album, through the process of putting ink on my plate, I came up with this very angular design at first, and then I put some ink down and I realized how transparent it was here. And I started to think about um, a passageway, a pathway out of um, a creative state of stagnation and moving somewhere else. <laughs> and then from there, I didn't clean the plate and I used the residual ink on the plate to create the second uh, part of Walking in Memphis. And then from there, again, I didn't clean the plate, and I just put more color down to, to create the other image, uh, what's above the sky.